The economy has come roaring back. After a flat first quarter, US GDP surged in Q2 2025, defying both expectations and market fears. According to our satellite-based forecast at Atlas Analytics, Q2 GDP will clock in at a staggering 4.3% annualized growth, the strongest quarterly print since 2021. And the best part? We've been calling this rebound since early May. I'm Jake Schneider, the founder of Atlas Analytics, where we use satellite imagery from space to track the US economy in real time weeks before government data is released. This GDP call isn't just a lucky guess. Using data from the Landsat Satellite Network, our proprietary ROY algorithm, Remote Orbital Yield, tracked a powerful surge in domestic economic activity starting in mid-April and continuing through last week. Let's break it down. According to Atlas Analytics, GDP has three components, core GDP, net exports, and private inventories, all that sum to headline GDP. Core GDP, the heartbeat of the US economy, accelerated to positive 3.46 percentage points driven by strong consumer demand and robust services spending. Net exports, which were a drag in Q1, flipped to being robustly positive at 3.67 percentage points as net exports recovered from the Trump tariff impact stabilization. However, private inventories fell sharply due to a glut of supply from the Trump tariff front running, contributing negative 2.81 percentage points to growth. Let's add it up. 3.46 plus 3.67 minus 2.81 equals 4.32. And that's Atlas Analytics Q2 GDP forecast. How does that compare? As of today's shooting, Thursday, July 17th, 2025, the Atlanta Fed's GDP now is at 2.4% trailing behind us, and the New York Fed is much more cautious, still projecting just 1.6% growth. Why the disconnect? Most now cast models rely on lagging survey, but at Atlas Analytics, we're reading the physical economy from above, and while well, the satellites, they don't lie. Are we in a recession? Let's put that rumor to bed. The definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative growth or a broad-based contraction in economic activity. Q1, it was slightly negative, but Q2 is booming. The MBER isn't calling for a recession and neither are we. In fact, our model suggests Q3 GDP may remain elevated. However, at first glimpse for core GDP for July shows that it's fallen ever so slightly. So what's next? We'll continue tracking weekly updates using Atlas Analytics orbital data systems. And as the effects of the Trump tariffs evolve and the Fed chairman election volatility picks up, we'll keep you ahead of the curve. Want the raw satellite data? Visit atlasanalytics.com to access our enterprise solutions. Want to stay informed? Become a premium Substack subscriber at atlasanalytics.info for exclusive weekly forecasts and commentary.